What's up guys, Papa Stanimus here. Today, we're gonna talk about streaming on multiple platforms and why, for most of you, it's probably not a good idea. Streaming on multiple platforms is really, really cool. Uh, I've done it in the past. I used to stream on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch simultaneously. I did that for quite a while. Um, however, in the long run, it didn't really garner me much. Uh, mostly, I got a little bit on YouTube and I got a little bit on Twitch, but there was a lot of downsides that I learned from doing this. And um, there's three big downsides that I want to talk about today. Uh, just to kind of, or actually four of them, excuse me, four big downsides to streaming on multiple platforms at once. And um, I'm going to go in depth on each one of these so we can really have an understanding on why streaming on multiple platforms is bad for business. Okay. So, uh, first of all, uh, multiple active chats is really hard to keep up with, especially when you have like 25 people in each one, just talking and talking and talking. Uh, it's really hard to keep up with that and, and engage everybody. Um, if you're a streamer that doesn't really need to engage the chat at all, then Maybe this one doesn't apply to you, but most of us, we need to be able to talk to our chat. Our chat is like the lifeblood of everything that we do. So not being able to keep up with that, there's strike one right there, okay? Now, uh, Twitch, YouTube, Mixer are platforms that as a small creator, you really have to be all in on, all right? Um, in my article, I talk a lot about this and uh, being all in on something means like putting all of your, all of the extra time that you have to give Twitch, for example. If you were to cut that in half and then take half that time and put it over on Mixer, now you're like selling yourself short on Twitch. You really need to be able to focus all of your extra time that you have to give Twitch to Twitch. You need to have that extra time to join other chats and hang out and meet other streamers. Um, you need that extra time to create clips and, and do all that and, and cr plan your next broadcast and make overlays and do all the different things that you need to do. It takes a lot of time and Twitch, if you cut that in half, you're not gonna get that much out of it, okay? Or, or even Mixer, let's say that you choose Mixer as your main platform. If, you're, if you cut your Mixer time in half to give it to Twitch, then you're selling your Mixer time short. So what I say is focus all power towards what it is that you main on, what your main streaming platform is. Shit, my microphone just fell. Streaming on multiple platforms creates confusion. If you are going to post on Twitter that you're going live, what are you going to do? Post a link to all of them, all the places that you stream to, or are you just going to pick one, you know, okay. If you're only picking one, what about those other ones? Right? Those ones are going to get forgotten about. Um, it, you know, you see what I'm saying? Like it, you just kind of have to pick one being on multiple ones just creates all these problems. So now, which one do people go to to talk to you on if they want to tune into your stream? And if there's all these different places, it's just going to create a lot of confusion for, for people. You know what I mean? And finally, the most important one is Twitch. The biggest live streaming platform, the one that most of you watching are on, it has contra you have contractual obligations that you have to uh, obey. Okay. And that is if, if you're an affiliate or above, which it takes three viewers to get an affiliate right now. Okay. It's practically up for grabs for anyone. Anyone can get three viewers. And if you're having trouble with getting three viewers, hit me up. I'll give you the magic answers. Okay. So you only need to get three viewers to get affiliate. And once you reach affiliate, Twitch gets 24 hours exclusive rights to your content. That means that for 24 hours, you cannot take a clip from Twitch and put it over on YouTube. You're not supposed to do that. Okay. Um, and with that, that makes it really difficult to stream that content on multiple platforms. Okay. So, uh, now with all that said, what are, what's the point of using something like restream, for example, right? What is the point? Well, who benefits from it? Well, here's the people who benefit, benefit from it most. Um, 
And that is people who don't main their streaming platform on Twitch. So Twitch isn't their main one. If Twitch is not your main platform, this, is, this can be beneficial for you streaming all these platforms. However, Twitch is the biggest and the best. Um, also, if you're like a big company and you're doing like something promotional, maybe there's some new product you're unveiling, maybe you're a game company, right? I mean, you could just stream it on Twitch or you can have a live stream on YouTube. You can have a live stream on Twitch. You can have a live stream on Facebook. I think you can do Twitter through like uh, whatever their thing is, right? Periscope. Okay, and then you can have your product unveiling on all these platforms and you could have built up all this hype and had ads promoting it the whole time. Like, you know, that makes a lot of sense right there, right? So companies like Restream, they, they, this is where a lot of their money comes from. It's probably from the corporate guys. I'm just guessing. But if I had to guess, I mean, that's, that's the corporate guys where they make their money. So, and that's where it really makes sense. If you're not one of those, one of those and probably other, uh, there's other things that, you, that you know, you might need to use Restream for. If you're not under any of those weird, obscure kind of situations, then you don't need to stream on multiple platforms. And what you need to do is pick one and stick to it and put all of your energy and effort into that one platform so you could thrive. Maybe once you've thrived and you've done really, really good job and you're starting to get noticed and and things are kind of changing with the way you operate, maybe you might want to start utilizing other platforms. YouTube, for example, for putting VODs on there for your viewers to watch. You could take your VODs, put them on YouTube and save them forever. You can make little compilation videos. You could do whatever you want on YouTube. Like what I do, I make these videos for you guys. You can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, however, my big combo is Twitch for live streaming, YouTube for the videos. I think that's the magic answer for just about anybody, but that's just me. Those are just my opinions. I'd love to see what you guys think about this subject in the comments below. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like this video, you guys know what to do. Hit the like button anyways. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to me on YouTube. That would really help me out. And as always, I'm probably live on Twitch right now. Go check me out at twitch.tv forward slash papastanimus. Thank you all for watching. Have a good rest of your day, evening, afternoon, whatever. I'm gonna go walk over there. Holy shit. Huh? Here we go. Mm -hmm.